Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to go over this rig right here. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to walk around and show you guys what each piece does and what it costs pretty much. Um, so hopefully it will help you guys um, build a rig that's going to be both um, portable, like this one here, and um, you know, affordable, hopefully, right? So it's a pretty easy rig. We don't use any laptop for this rig. Um, it's just a DSLR camera with a telescope and a mount pretty much. And right now it's very cloudy as you can see here, so there's no point of imaging. So I didn't put any cables on, there's no point. So to make it more clean, I took off all the cables and I will show you guys, you know, just each piece uh, individually. And we'll have a link in the uh, description below with all the, um, all the pieces we went through. All right, so let's start with the battery. This is a 35 amp hour battery, which I believe costs about 85 to 80, 88 dollars, I think, online. It will run this rig for about a night and a half, maybe two nights. Um, the main thing is, for this example, um, this battery will only run the mount, so there is no power needed for this or for the, uh, uh, the guide camera or anything. The only power needed is for the, the mount. So. I would say two nights easily um, for a 35 amp hour battery. As for the mount, this is the Atlas EQG from Orion. It's almost the same as the um, EQ6R from uh, I believe Skywatcher. So this mount is affordable and it's so, so, so reliable. Uh, we bought this mount I think maybe five years ago and it never failed us, it's so reliable and I think we'll keep it for a long time actually because this mount is just a great mount um, overall and even though for us now we have a mighty mount we still use this mount for um, like secondary rigs then we have the telescope here of course this is the mid 70 mm Apo Astrograph F5 and it's a Petzvolt telescope so it's a really really nice refractor that's super lightweight and super short and um, it's Petzvolt means that you don't have to buy any kind of like uh, field flattener for this because it's already integrated inside, it's built in. So um, it, all you have to do is just connect the camera straight to the telescope. You don't have to worry about any adapter and it's super nice. Then we have the, the camera. So this is a Canon 5D Mark II, but we also use our Canon 7D Mark II. But this is a great full frame DSLR camera that fits perfectly fine on this telescope here. If you want to go cheaper, we suggest getting a T3i, for example. Those are like super cheap. I think it's like maybe 200 bucks now on eBay. Or you can go up to the T7i, for example, which is newer and uh, much better. I think maybe around 500 bucks, maybe 400 bucks on eBay. Um, the 5D Mark II here, I bought for 400 bucks. Attached to the, the Canon camera, we have an intervalometer. So this is this would allow us to um, pick our number of shots, pick our exposure time, uh, any kind of delay, and um, have full control of the uh, manual settings in terms of exposure time and you know uh, frames. Um, this is, uh, I think, like 15 bucks on Amazon, so it's pretty cheap too. Um, between the camera and the telescope, so the telescope came with one adapter, um, and all you have to do is to connect a T-ring. So. Um, the tiering that's between those two here, so the, the camera and the, the mid adapter, is I think also 15 bucks on any website, so it's really cheap and it just allows you to connect the, uh, the camera to the telescope. Then, if we go on the front here, we have a, an adapter for the QHY Pole Master, which I don't have today, but um, if, if you were to buy a, a Pole Master, you could just connect it right here uh, as long as you have the, uh, the adapter. So, if you, if you have the money, it's not too expensive. Um, this will definitely help you, um, you know, put our line easily. Um, on this side as well, we also have a, a, a batting of masks that was um, printed by my uh, my friend Devron. He 3D printed this, and it's just so you know, it's super light and super small. And all you have to do is just to stick it over here, like that. And you know, with that, you can easily focus a telescope. Um, and you know, we have a video about how to focus, but with this mask, it's just super easy. And lastly, um, that's pretty much all we have. On this side here, I'm going to rotate the telescope. On this side here, so we have a guide telescope from Orion, 
Uh, it's a 50 millimeter guide telescope. And here we have a guide camera. So this guide camera is from QHY. We usually use either that one or the ASI 290 mini, um, but both are pretty good for, for guiding. So, and they're pretty cheap as well. So this one in particular is, I don't remember the name, I think it's QHY, uh, there we go. QHY 53462. So I could not remember that, sorry. This works nice for, for guiding. And guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a very, very simple rig. We don't use any laptop if we plan to image with our DSLR camera. So we like to use this instead of the laptop. So it's overall very, very easy. And if you like this video, uh, let us know. We might do the same type of walkthrough for an advanced setup, which will have much more uh, you know, PCs and it's gonna be much more uh, busy than this.